Hey folks, welcome to Project Zomboid. My name is Drunk on Life, but you can call me Drunk for short. We're pro following uh, Brenda's story. Uh, we A lot has happened since the last episode. I actually created a video that I thought was awesome. I had like uh, decided to go into town, and you can see it right there on the screen. I decided I was going to go into town and... Um, Maybe try to get in the storage area, find a generator so I could drop it next to a gas station and have infinite gas. That didn't happen as quite as well as I planned. I ended up basically being the Pied Piper for zombies, having these guys follow me around while I tried to sh use my shotgun to try to clear them out. And the more I use a shotgun, you know, because even though it's a suppressor, it still makes noise the more zombies I, tr I attracted. And I made a couple missteps, and I wound up having to leave. I got out, out of there by the skin of my teeth, but at the same time, it was a complete and utter failure. So um, we are headed back right now. Um, not from that, because I also thought I was recording another episode where I decided I was going to go to these little houses right behind my farmhouse on the no next street and uh, get, gra gather some food and maybe hopefully find an axe. Um, I also went and looked at the uh, junkyard to see if any cars were working because this car is on its last leg. And wow, there are a lot of zombies coming coming in. But anyway, I didn't, and I realized I wouldn't record it. So that's what I slept in the car last night because it was raining, and now I'm headed home. And this is probably going to be a fairly chill day at 7 in the morning. But I don't see a lot happening because I'm going to have to unload. That's probably going to take me a good portion of the day. And uh, yeah. So anyway... We're going to get through this day, and then in the morning, we're going to head back into town and try to take this thing with a different plan, with a different plan, because the zombies, they are actually insane. The population is, like, unbelievable. Um, I'm going to have to, like, basically change my gameplay style to be able to handle this kind of stuff. Good morning, survivors. We are we're, we are back. We're uh, it's the next day. It's eight thirty in the morning. I spent all day reading a mechanics book, I believe. Try to up my skills. Um, it's like to have mad mechanic skills. I need to up my electric as well. I have been pulling stuff off as I go. Now we're headed into town. This is going to be part two of the big giant failure that I had before. And they and as you can see, I cleared out all the zombies that were here in my yard yesterday. But um, I was thinking there are there were several things that I think that I could have done better. Um, for one thing, when I went in here to try to get into the thing, I was actually um, kind of meandering, like I was just just driving around. I honestly didn't know exactly where the uh, storage sheds were, so I was kind of driving around, and as a result, I was dragging zombies with me. I don't think I need to go there. Um, and then when I finally did find it, I kind of hesitated and uh, took my time to actually park and get out. Then once I actually w was able to corral all of them and move them to another place, I made the really bad mistake of um, basically uh, going uh, going back to w trying to kill a couple more zombies that were... I guess attached to a bigger group. So, those are my mistakes. It's not going to happen again. We're all, we're here, and it sounds like it's going to be raining. Damn it! It's been raining a lot. I've been spending a lot of time inside. Let's go ahead and jump out. Keep that really close, so that way, when we do and see, instead of like running straight in, I should have this last time. I need to go around and see. They're going to all kind of congregate around the car for a second, and I should be able to get around. So I'm going to investigate this uh, trailer park area, and anybody that comes to me I'll kill. Mm, nah, I don't need that. I don't need a shot, sawed off shotgun. Makes too much noise. And it's raining. I'm going to get wet. Get damp. Get cold. Ugh, it's a bad deal. Feels bad, man. Alright. I should investigate these cars, too. Maybe I can find a better car. My car almost didn't start, not this morning, but yesterday morning. It really took a lot of cranking to do. Kind of made me nervous. I was like, oh, hellfire. I got to deal with it. Find another car. Yeah, I'm damp. I got these guys walking around. Let's see if there's a way I can lose them. Don't attract those. We'll just move over here. Around the trees. 
make sure I don't run right into a big group. Yeah, there they, there they are. I'll probably stop in a second. Yeah, one of them's already going back. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna have to get in this car and kind of chill for a second. Maybe there might be a key in here. It'd be nice to get a big van. It means I could pack up a lot of stuff. Right? <laughs> and of course there's nothing. It's an empty van. An empty van and yeah. So I'm going to sit here and wait for a second. Oh, maybe not. She come, yeah, she saw me. Damn it. Get out of the car. That gives me the opportunity to go into this van. Instead. There we go. Let's see. All right, so I'm, I, I am damp, not quite wet. Is that guy coming for me? I can't tell. I think he is. Damn it. Okay. Let's go ahead and kill him as well. And this could probably, this could maybe take a little bit of time. Ooh, 50 cows. Okay, well, this might take a little bit of time, so I'm just going to speed up time here and see you on the other side. Man, I had to, I hated to, to speed that up, but I mean, really, honestly, I couldn't fast forward because there are just too many zombies, as is this playthrough <laughs> seems to be uh, just insane, the amount of, of guys out here. All right, so while I was in that, the van, while I was sped up, I discovered that that r red van actually has a key to it, and it has a lot of gas, so should I go in there? No, I'm not going to go in there. I'm not going to bother. Not bother. Don't test your luck, drunk. Just just take it, cut your losses. So while I was thinking about it, it was maybe the white car, white van has one as well, and that'd be nice, and it's thundering again. Damn it. It always seems to uh, really uh, be messing with the, the rain. The rain has been coming down like it seems like the last three days. I've spent more time inside or inside a car waiting for the rain to stop than I've actually been playing. It's really crazy. I guess in December in Kentucky or Kentucky, it uh, rains a lot. All right, so we're going to check to see if uh, my theory is correct. Because what I thought what would happen is if I really came in hard and then dumped the car and ran. Oh, I hope it didn't rain. God, I hope it didn't rain. What I thought when I, when I dumped the car that basically they'd eventually dissipate if I waited long enough. And I've waited a good portion, probably about 30 minutes uh, in game time. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Maybe I can draw them in uh, one by one. Yeah, here comes one right here. There's one down. And another. Okay. Looking good up. Oh, fuck. What, did, what just happened? Oh, someone just snuck up on me. All right, time to bring out the big guns. There we go. There's another one. Ah, missed it. Okay. Ah. Oh, not counting my bullets. That's always a bad deal. It's going to end so badly. <laughs> oh, let me try this again. All right, and backing up is probably not the best way to fire, and I am out of bullets again. All right, I'm going to go ahead and quick equip here. I don't know why it quick equips my uh, screwdriver rather than my machete. I think, it, it, is it one of those things where if I favored it, it will start to do it? All right, I'm just scratched. That's good. That's good, but an injury sucks. Slight damage. But ain't so bad. Here we go. Nice. We should be able to get in now. Get in and look for a generator. That's the goal today. I'm not sure once I get the generator what I'm going to do, how I'm going to maneuver around the uh, gas station. But I'm guessing what I can do is I can drop the car off and do exactly what I did with this. And uh, just basically have them chase me into the woods and me lose them. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, there's a few here. Or when I say few, I really mean just one. I'm sure there's more. Now, I'm hoping that I don't run into like a horde in here. Here's my car. 
Oh, there's another one. Oh, they just came out of the building. All right, let's go and check this out. There's another one. Yeah, they just keep coming out of this building. I wonder how many there are in there. It would suck bad if I got caught. But, I mean, the, the good thing is is that there's, like, a couple exit ways out of here. All right, there's a guy. Let's see if there's anything in here. There isn't. How did he miss me? Dang it. There we go. Nothing on him. Come into this one. Oh, that scares me. It scares me. All right, we're just going to look at this real quick. Nothing in here. Oh, toaster, we'll go ahead and dismantle anything that we can because we're trying to get to up to the point where we uh, can hotwire our cars. Because then that opens up the whole, like, spectrum. Like, I can actually, like, leave leave base without a car and actually go into town um, in search of another car if I wanted to. If I wanted to. Samurai helmet. We're, we'll wear that. Scanner. I can dismantle that. Anything else? Nope. Can't do anything with the telescope rod. Doomsday prepper bag. Well, that's interesting. I'm going to take it just in case. I don't know if I can use it or not. Dismantle the head vacuum. And there is nothing here. Got the wrench. I can always use a wrench. So that uh, red car looks actually in really good shape. It's in much better shape than my car right now, the, the Dart. And it has more room. So we'll be able to do all sorts of stuff with it if we want. All right, let's check this room out. Nothing. Well. Wow. Curing salt. You know why I'm taking it. But I think I can cure stuff with it. Cure it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm still bandaged. I'm not. I'm not out of the woods yet. But I think we'll. Uh, the hard part is behind us. There we go. Nothing in there. Here comes a, a couple more. So they're just kind of sparse around here. That's good. Nothing. I'm kind of nervous about wearing things like uh, sports pants and stuff um, just because of um, the clothing system is kind of broken with how cold it is. I would sure hate to wear something and nothing in there. Looks like somebody was going to live there or something. <laughs> they thought it was a good idea. Hey, I'll hide, in, I'll hide in one of these uh, storage units. No one will ever see me. Yeah. Oh, nothing. Don't want that. Nah. Nah. Don't need it. I'll come in here, too. Well, this is kind of disappointing. I thought for sure there would be something in here. Take that key. This has a suppressor. Yeah. Can't disassemble it. Can't disassemble it. Might as well not deal with it. Okay, a ring clamp. Now, I know that anytime I find these clamps, these metal clamps, I want to take. Not the ring clamp, but the metal clamp. Because according to Ghoul King, they're very rare and you need them for something. So, a battery array, I think. Okay, nothing there. Some renewable energy. I think I have one more. So far, it's been disappointing. So far, it's been very disappointing. Well, well, this this whole thing was almost for naught. If it wouldn't have been for that red van that we found, it would be completely just uh, not, not even worth what we've gone through. Especially considering the fact that I spent almost an hour before, when it's not on this video, actually coming here the first time around. Let's go in here. We'll go and check it out. Whoa. 
No, 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 no. That is a death trap. All right, can I take him? I think I can. There we go. Nothing. Okay. Where did you come from? Okay. All right. So what am I gonna what am I gonna do here? Hmm. All right. Well, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and drive that red van back to uh, back to base and um, maybe come back here on foot and retrieve the car. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Because it se it would seem like with the amount of zombies in this area, if if I once I start that car, the van, they're going to all be attracted to it. And I'm just going to attract them right to the car. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. And I'd much rather um, come back. But I will have to come back on foot. There is no doubt in my head. But it has like gas and stuff like that in it. So, and this, the red van right now at least has a full tank of gas. So, I'm okay in that respect. And it's in great condition. I think the wind, I think the only thing that I have to worry about is the hood, which I have pl I have a wrench now, so I can maybe uh, maybe change out the hood when I get home because I have that that truck, and I think that's a heavy duty as well, so I should be okay. All right, let's head let's head to the house. Ooh, this is a lot slower, a lot more cumbersome. A lot slower, a lot more cumbersome, but see, look at all those. Those are the, all the ones that had initially followed me. And it's raining. It's raining. Huh. Got out just in the nick of time. All right, so the next episode, I think what we're going to do is we're going to maybe uh, head back in town on foot and investigate some more stuff and come and retrieve the car as well. I'll be, that should be quite the adventure, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But we'll just go ahead and head out. Leave these guys. Because I'm really not that far off. I think it would be probably like uh, maybe an hour or two time to, to get there and I should be okay all right well I'm gonna stop here you guys um, when I get home just to let you know I'm going to attempt to uh, change out some stuff wow there there are this is just not a safe place but I just don't know if there are any safe places when you have an insane population it's close enough it's good enough uh, my name's Drunk. You can call me Drunk on Life for short. If you like uh, Project Zomboid and you want to see more episodes uh, like this video, I am going to continue. That's a spoiler alert. Because <laughs> I love this game. Um, if you haven't subscribed to me, you should. I, I actually um, post videos. I'm trying to get on a schedule where I'm posting three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We'll see if that how long that works, whether that works or not. Um, you can always hit that bell. It'll alert you whenever I... Uh, post my next video and anyway guys i appreciate you guys watching um and i'll talk to you guys later y'all take care bye bye